Hello everyone, Flight Streamer here, your go-to flight simulation enthusiast, content creator, and streamer, and we're about to review the newly released FCU by Wing Wing. I'd like to give a huge thanks to Wing Wing for sending this pre-production unit for this video. I waited a while before finishing this video to ensure that I could test it with the most stable version of the sim and Phoenix A320, which we'll use for this review. SimApp Pro version 1.9.11 was used for this review. I also have some footage from Flight Sim Expo 2024 at the end of this video to reveal a few products that are coming soon from Winway. Now let's go through unboxing first to see what comes inside the box. As I open the box, I'm greeted with neatly packaged unit securely protected by styrofoam inserts. The package comes with USB-C data cable, quality control certificate, accessories kit with screws, mount brackets, hexagon tool, nanometer double-sided adhesive dots, top of the FCU unit is protected by styrofoam insert, and FCU unit itself. FCU unit is wrapped in plastic and wow, it looks and feels so solid. Now let's remove the plastic packaging. And finally, there are two mounting brackets. The unit itself is an exact replica of a real Airbus A320 FCU with a width of 262 mm and a height of 103 mm. One thing to note right away is that it comes with USB-C, nicely tucked in to prevent any damage from cables. Buttons and knobs feel so good. For the price, this unit is just perfect. Now let's visually compare the Mini FCU to the Wing Wing FCU. Keep in mind that Mini FCU is more than double the price. The Mini FCU is a great unit and is more compact. However, it comes with a few issues that I hope the manufacturer addresses, such as lack of USB-C and no mounting options other than the suction cups. Integration isn't as responsive as the Wing Wing FCU. Now let's compare the feel and sound of the knobs and buttons. I have to admit that I like the knob sound and feel of the Mini FCU better. However, the Wing Wing FCU feels a lot sturdier and heavy duty. If you want to see a detailed comparison of both units in action, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. So far, I think Wing Wing FCU is a clear winner here. Now let's hop on the Phoenix A320 version 2 and test it in flight. For this test, we're in Ottawa doing a cold and dark setup. Let's first turn on the external power. Notice how quickly it responds to all aircraft states. It replicates the exact behavior of the FCU in the sim. When external power is connected, there's the same realistic delay on the FCU. Now, one of the very neat features is that when you do the annunciator light test, it also lights up on the hardware FCU the same way. So once we pick the departure in MCDU, the heading becomes dashed. For this departure, we need to set the altitude to 5000, so let's just go ahead and do it. Now, we're pushing back and taxiing to the runway. Let's take off and do some more tests. All right, speed, heading dashed, and we're on the managed VNAV climb to 5000. Okay, now let's engage the AP. Let's pull the manual speed and dial the desired speed. Notice how quickly and responsive the unit is, and the fact that knobs physically move in the sim as well. Let's set the heading to 200 and climb to 12,000 feet and adjust the vertical speed. Now the expedite button is not labeled because it could be switched to lock if needed. Let's adjust the speed to 50. To continue in managed climb, let's fly direct to Avon waypoint. Now we just select our next altitude of 22,000 feet and we can engage the managed climb by pressing the alt knob. Now let's take a look at the typical workflow I do with FCU on live streams with VATSIM air traffic control. 
Five percent, six thousand. Six thousand Swiss, five zero five. Okay, once again, just a little bit of uh, a little bit of manipulations with the FCU, and now we're doing this. We're about to land. So there's the airport. There's the airport. We can see all the vats and traffic over there. It is busy, so. Speed to twenty. Speed to twenty. Swiss five zero five. Speed to twenty. We go to twenty. There we go. Two twenty. Sorry, look at the pause. It's getting ready to land. Once again, everyone, thank you so much. Five zero five descent, five thousand feet. Five thousand feet. Swiss five zero five. Keep five thousand. FedEx eight one descent, five thousand. Descent five thousand. FedEx eight one. Okay, 5000 FCU. Right now, two uniform Quebec, contact tower, one, two, three, that's my later line. One, two, three, yes. Swiss 505, turn left, heading 250. Left 250, Swiss 505. Thank you. 250. Right now, 29 Quebec Hotel, descent 5000. Descent 5000, right now, turn left. Left, heading 250. FedEx 8505, turn left, heading 190, clear LS16. Left one under zero, clear ILS 16 with uh, Pfizer 5. Okay. Hello, arrival, lot 2 Papa Kilo. So approach. Lot 2 Papa Kilo, we in arrival, good evening. 5000, missed approach altitude set, and here we go. Flaps 1. Flaps 1. Speed Flaps 2, one. Uh, Flaps correction, Ryanair 29, Swiss 505, five, speed 180 until 6. 180 until 6, Swiss 505. Yeah, because we're. And, uh, so 6 DME, okay, here we go. Okay, so let's do manual flight now, just to make it a bit more adventurous. Okay, so let's do... yeah, let's probably do the flaps too. Radar ultimator alive. Check, flaps 2. Speed checked, flaps 2. Flaps 2. One hundred. Five, five, one eighty degrees. One autonomy. One six. Clear to land. Clear to land. One six. Swiss five zero five. Minima. Minimums. Continue. Check. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. There we go. What was it minus two, one, two, seven? There we go. Yeah, it was not bad, I think. I hope you enjoyed this landing. Now let's take a look at Flight Sim Expo footage of the FCU in action. It feels extremely solid. You can see how fast that is. It is ridiculously fast. And this is still not released, so I'm waiting for this. So once again, you could you could flick it and it just changes immediately. Right, so there we go. So, oh my God, it feels so good. <laughs> it just feels so good. The Q and H. Now I just, yeah. Oh my. Now, I, now I think I need the, I need this, uh, the frame, for the stream. So I like, you know, put the computer here. Oh, wow. So we're at what, twenty thousand? So yeah, let's go, let's go to twenty. Yeah. So we got the. Oh, nice. Awesome. Oh, perfect. Yeah, twenty-four. So I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we could. We could uh, set the speed to 300. Like, look how fast this is. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, and first of all, it shows the, you know, like it actually rotates on the sim, and then, and then I physically rotate it, and it's extremely fast. So that's the the heading, heading bug. So now we're just gonna change the heading, and that just goes really fast. Yeah, and then, and then we do the standard. So, yeah. So cool. And then if I want to put set the standard, I just like pull and it's the standard. In conclusion, this is a very solid unit and it's an absolute keeper for me as a primary FCU and you just can't go wrong with the price. I highly recommend getting it if you fly Airbus a lot. If you have any additional questions, please drop a comment below. I truly appreciate your support. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. It would mean a lot to me if you'd like the video and subscribe to this channel for more flight simulation content and live streams. Thanks, and I'll see you in the skies.